Welcome to WatchCard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today I talk about the Shadow Broker's latest leak. Back in August, we had a blog post that talked about a leak from a mysterious group calling themselves the Shadow Brokers. This mysterious group claimed to gain access to some of the hacking tools used by the NSA, specifically the Equation Group, which is supposedly related to the NSA's tailored access operations, basically the organization that the NSA uses to hack uh, other nation states and things like that. In any case, the Shadow Brokers released uh, two zip files full of a bunch of tools. The first was something that anyone could open right away, and it kind of confirmed that these were real hacking tools because they contained exploits for a lot of network gear, including Cisco gear, and even including RapidStream gear, which was a company WatchGuard purchased a long time ago. But by the way, none of these exploits affected WatchGuard's actual firewalls. In any case, the the second zip file was actually password protected, and part of their leak was the shadow brokers were putting that second file up for auction, asking for the first person that bid up to 1 million Bitcoin, which is a ton of money by the way, could have the other NSA hacking tools. So that brings us to today's update. This week on the Medium, the shadow brokers released another long political diatribe talking about how they supported Trump, but how Trump is disappointing them. Them. And at the end of the diatribe, they actually released the strong password for that second group of files, the ones that they were trying to auction off. Basically, they said no one's paying for the auction, so they decided to just give up the password for these files. Now, of course, many researchers have already opened this second set of files, including us, and there's a ton of different scripts in there. At a very high level, there doesn't seem to be any major, major issues, except one source is reporting that some of the files actually will exploit Solaris computers. So the main new thing in this leak is there seems to be at least two zero day vulnerabilities affecting Solaris, which is an operating system that's not so used today, but is still used in some organizations. Without going into all the details, between these two vulnerabilities, remote attackers can gain full control of Solaris machines running Solaris 7 through 10 for sure, and possibly even the latest uh, 11 version as well. Other than that, we'll continue continue to look at these files and if we hear of any new interesting ones we'll definitely share them. By the way a quick aside no one really knows who the shadow brokers are yet. Uh, some people suspect they're Russian based attackers, others suspect it's an NSA insider. In either case the main takeaway here is to know that there is this new leak so be on the alert for new news but more importantly if you are one of the few Solaris administrators still out there you should be aware of these two zero day vulnerabilities that were leaked. Uh, be sure to check out the article that I'll link to in the blog post associated with this video and be on the lookout for any new updates for Solaris. Anyways, interesting story. That's it for today's news. Thanks for watching.